ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. The route over which we are traveling today is one of the oldest railroad rights of way anywhere in the entire world. It was given to the Strasburg Railroad Company by an act of the Pennsylvania State Legislature that was back on June 9, 1832. What you see did not happen overnight. Over six generations of passengers have traveled through the paradise over the past 177 years. Now look up ahead and off to your running left, off in the distance, you'll know the same road on both my colored producers. They belong to either Red Cooper's Hotel and Restaurant, it's privately owned and operated, where you can sleep overnight. Now we have Railroad Cooper's. Beyond that, the Toy Train Tractors Museum, housing a fabulous collection of antique toy trains. This is Fairview. Fairview Crossing will be next. Built in 1774, 
It was the home then of Cornelius Marie, the Wright Conestoga wagon maker. Settlers heading west who stopped here, purchased Conestoga wagons, Pennsylvania long rifles, and other locally produced provisions. They were heading west on the old Conestoga wagon trail that's now Route 741, the very same route you folks took into more station today. Just beyond the fields of winter wheat, off to your right, beyond the Graystone Farmhouse is the Cherry Crest Adventure Farm, which is home in season to the amazing maize or maize. Now, as you can see, the corn for the maize is growing and will not be fully high or fully grown until early July. The objective, of course, is for you to find your way through one end of the corn field and out the other without getting lost. They have a cutting two themes, food, music, fun for the entire family. That's the amazing maze for maze at the Cherry Crest Adventure Farm off to the left and right. This is Cherry Hill. Cherry Hill Station will be next. Right. Burial place of Marie Marie. 
Marie Farine was a famous French Huguenot. She and her followers fled religious persecution under the heavy hands of King Louis XIV. They left France for England, where they obtained the land grant for two and a half square miles of land for William Penn, and they finally arrived in 1712. Now, back then, this was still the frontier of America, and only Marie Farine, her followers, the Pequay Indians, Hans her and his followers, were here at the time. Now we're approaching the Strasburg's one and only bridge. When your car gets to that bridge, we would like for you to lift up your feet just a little bit. Take some weight off the cars. Set up straps off of the old bridge. But at the ends of these fields just straight ahead. Uh, don't to see the bridge. I hope it's supposed to be underneath us. Almost 16 feet over the pumpkin mill turnpike. Feed up, please, as your car is across. Thank you. 